All right, so we got the BX23S here. This is the subcompact mini Kubota or subcompact Kubota here with the bucket. I was out plowing and then all of a sudden this thing just was like popping and sputtering and uh, didn't know what was going on. So we dev, uh, I believe we got some gas in it. It's at least a quarter tank. All right, so a little under half a tank here. The hours on it are 189 and right now it's cold but not quite sure what was going on but this thing just started missing like crazy blowing black smoke all right so one of the things that we're going to be putting in here today is power service clear diesel fuel and tank cleaner removes water and slime to prevent fuel filter failures uh, the biggest thing that we want with this is removing water so this is just one of the products that you can use for treating diesel. The other is something like this. This is another good one. Uh, this is heat. Note that this is ISO heat for diesels. So don't use the yellow one, use the red one. Um, and I heard people use 70% alcohol too as well to do this. The issue is that the fuel is has water in it. So the only thing I can think of is when I was helping um, an individual out, he had an extra five gallons of diesel laying around um, for his tractor. And I think it was just his backup diesel. And I don't know how long it's been sitting. So this has been in here for maybe two months and I've only used about half a tank of it. But I think with the cold weather combined with uh, probably just long storage of his stuff, we have water in the fuel. Now that's not like too crazy, but the issue is when this thing warms up, that's when it starts doing it. All right, so we topped off the fuel in this. It took about four gallons. So this was about half full. So we topped it off with fresh diesel, as well as we put eight ounces of this in the tank. This treats up to a hundred gallons. So. All right, so we have, I don't know, maybe a half an hour, 40 minutes of hard run time on this. And I am happy to say that uh, that was the issue. There was water and fuel. So we, uh, I put that stuff in and topped it off with diesel fuel, let it idle for a little bit. And, and now this thing's running like a champ again. So really it boiled down to uh, bad fuel for that. So I hope this helped somebody else out. I did see that there's a, they were talking about the fuel filter under here and as well as underneath the machine to be changed. I'll probably have to do that here. We're at a 200 hour service anyways, or almost to that. We're about at 190 hours on this machine. So it really doesn't have that many hours on it. So hopefully this helps you out if the machine is running like this then all you got to do is just treat the fuel and uh, worst case scenario, change the filters out and siphon the fuel out. And hopefully you will be able to get back to doing what you were doing and what this thing was meant for. So hopefully this video helped you. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if it helped you. And I will see you guys next time.